for publicity. Yeah, old doe, queen of the clearing. I think she must be getting close to about 10 years old. Oh, the little bubby. Dig head out, have a little bit of a look at the world, contemplate the sights, pull head back in, have a bit of a drink. Carried around by their mother for the first maybe three months that they've got their eyes open. <clears throat> Might have taken them three months to get to that stage. When they're born, they're about the size of the end joint on a person's little finger. Blind, pretty much transparent. And they have to crawl up the center line of their mother's belly and get into the pouch and hook onto the teeth. Once they open their eyes, bald, pink skinned, hairless, they start sticking their head out and the mother will carry them around her territory. <coughs> and show them everything you gotta to do to live within its resources, where to get a drink, where to get a feed, where to go when the wind blows from one place, where to go when the wind blows from another direction, where's a good place for winter, where's a good place for summer. How to eat everything that you wanna eat in that area, what's dangerous, where it's dangerous, how to avoid the dangerous. It is a complex culture. Would you like some more?
Once upon a time, there were never any New England magpies in this clearing. Once upon a time, there were white-winged chuffs lived in this clearing. Toward the end of the drought, the white-winged chuffs went away. <clears throat> during 1919, uh, 2019. And gradually, the magpies have moved into the Chuffs territory. Life's pretty good fun once the local wild, unfenced native animals decide that one is harmless and friendly and worth visiting. And you're going to have a hard time getting to that stage if you've got carnivorous animals as pets. And if you've got dog shit, cat shit, dog pee and cat pee around your camp, the local native herbivores are not going to feel comfortable visiting your lawn because they can smell predators. They can smell the scats of predators. They can smell predators, predators pee. Isn't that right? You're not silly, are you? Eh? Hmm? You're not silly. And I find you can live within the local wildlife community or you can have a pet captive dog or a cat as a prisoner. And I don't have a pet captive carnivore as a prisoner, do I, eh? Oh, could you smell some more bread? Hmm? Can you smell that bit of bread? You can get it. It is. Yeah, right there. That's a girl. Yes, you're a clever little Felicity, aren't you? Eh? Queen Doe of the Clearing? That'd be enough. Hmm. That'd be enough. As you can see, they find things with their nose or their ears. The eyes are pretty much secondary movement detectors, I think. Oh, yum. Bit of dried banana peel, eh? Sun-dried banana peel? 
full of potassium. As I said, they perceive the world by its sound and its smell. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.